well in a sort of trial lane when you've got a Bloodseeker on the team. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Mm, it's it's really hard to put your lanes here. Like the main thing that's that they really do. It's gonna be a the only one. way he does it though is if he Leshrac misses the stun first. I think. Oh well, there's likely something's off stun. Not gonna land, but Rocket Barrage. Trying to clean up here. One more right click out from Modo, and that'll be your first blood for Alliance up against Team Secret. Yeah, it's just like even if they miss the spoiler stun, it fights them enough. That definitely has to be a misplay of some sort by Sai, I feel. But this, in, this mid lane is super cool, he's gonna get pulled in in there, you know? Coil and Kuroki's coming in, Blood Right gonna be thrown out, Split Earth not gonna land, and S4 just bottles up. Oh, One more click out, he's got Face Shift and he's perfectly fine, Kuroki now can turn and chase with the Orb of Venom, slowing him down. One more right click out from S4 and that's a double kill. Yeah, this is just when Bloodseeker thrives. They get a the initial kill on the Shadow Fiend quite easily, actually. That's where Cross probably just wants to head over to that side shop, but if there's a kill to be had, why not take it at the same time? Bulldog a little bit far up. Here comes the Rupture onto Viper, holding his ground a little bit there. Blood Right is going to silence up a couple puppy. Now he's going to grave himself just in time, but Loda's here with the right foot sound. He's got cooldown as well. He's going to land onto two, maybe three. They finish off Poppy's Dazzle, but RTZ hiding in the trees will find a little hiding hole for himself as Sai is toxed up. Walks into the middle of the rocket barrage. Puck now goes forward with the waiting rift and takes down two at the same time. Bulldog with Ake. They're both left alone. Maybe they can find a kill back onto this blood and they will do so. But RTZ and S4 on the retreat. What was that? A three for three exchange? They're yeah, no looking for a little no. bit more. Bulldog, RK taking a hefty amount of damage, but there's no killing blow there for Team Secret. Yeah, this was a little bit of stand still or you die. Yeah, you drop down like, like 100 HP and I'll just right click you twice. Sai's going on fucking mad here in the bottom jungle. Yeah, he's found him. Doesn't have a shot, but he's got the level 3 battery assault and a rocket flare to boot, so that's going to be a pretty simple kill. Pick off there for Zai. Yeah, solo kill without having any vision at all. Really well. The reveal of the blink dagger. Not really getting too much done. They nearly killed Pycat, but nearly Radiant's isn't quite enough. Is under Maybe yeah, now, I mean, Zai has found RK in the trees. Radiant's and this poor little Leshrac. The Rainbow Horsey caught in the cogs. Battery assault with the Rocket Flare. The cast time actually gets the Split Earth down. Still going to get finished off though by the Illusion from Puck and Zai. TP is out and away from the Admiral Bulldog's Viper. With the Magic Missile Max style of skill build, I think it's a really good thing. Yeah, and soft. Zai found him in the cogs and RTZ finishes him off with that mana void while well, RK okay, being held out by the blood right from Kuroki and this is just dominant uh, at this point in the game from Secret. Yeah, definitely. They're, they're just so good at clearing out the map it seems and Lions seem to never, whenever they go for these pushes it doesn't seem to work because S4 is always there and clearing out the blue packs which really helps them to commit the lanes. The swap pack stops his TP. He's probably dead anyway, but just to secure that kill because RT's escaping with 200 HP. Battle Fury completed. His Radiant's farming time begins. And S4 was split push. They're just putting a lot of pressure, even though the gangsta might always work. It's just that Alliance's lineup doesn't really have the ways to deal with the blood secret. Oh, they're gonna go here again. They found him. They found him. We can't get the Requiem off, and he will slow them down a little bit with that dying Requiem from him, but Loda. A little hunting missile out. Looking at the net worth graph, and yeah, four minutes ago, just a little explanation Radiant's about these seeding games. They uh, they go through this sort of double elimination bracket, and the top three teams. Oh, we'll come back to this in a second. And Zai's been swapped the cogs to hold him in place, but Loda, a lightning storm and rocket barrage, will manage to take down Zai here. Uh, Sooner yeah. rather than later, hopefully for them. He even throws a call down just to finish him off. He nearly sneaks his way out, but look at Arteezy cutting the wave between tier one and tier two. And this comes back to the point you were making very late on into the draft. Ridiculous amount of damage. This does free up Puppy because he's not forced to go into that medallion. He's not going for Earn or anything like that. Look shot in. They're going to catch out Pycat here, and there's the damage. Even with the BKB, does come out a little bit late, but they're going to try and take down Zai. So the raise is not enough to finish him off. So Pycat holding his ground now. Kuroki chased down by our Admiral Bulldog. The homing missile following through. But that should be Kuroki. Going down to the homing missile in the end. S4 in the back is. Oh, Kuroki's healing up actually. Is he going to be okay? What level is uh, the missile? It's level one. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. Now, Rocket Flare thrown out. S4 is still hunting people down, and he's got the damage to do it. Hey, he's looking to go here, I think. He's under attack. Oh. oh. Well, he's gonna get uh, mad. Just RTZ gonna blink forward, man. Avoid one more hit out there from the punk. We'll find that and secure the kill. Man, load up. Load up. Rocket Barrage. Does keep RTZ at bay for now, but now Bulldog though in the mid lane, he's really alone with the uh, S4 and uh, with the Shadow Fiend and the uh, Vengeance already dead. So 
I feel like I'm holding his ground pretty well. Although I couldn't get the last click out there, and Zai, no TP. So I get taken down by that poison attack. Loader coming in for the bit of experience and shared gold. Kuro. Kuro's waiting around here. Blood right, rupture at the ready. I, I just, like, watching RTZ do this is, is beyond me. He, he's just constantly cutting waves. Yeah, but he just knows the fact that we talked about this whole game that, but the, like, so he's perfectly fine. And at the same time, Papi has been farming this top lane for the the last three minutes or something. He's just not been involved. Oh, Pyka. Uh, he just doesn't have to. Oh, Pyka. Yeah. You're down to 24 souls. You're going to drop even further now. The call down will uh, not land onto anyone. Just a little dance and jumps herself away. Kuroki gets stunned out. And Pyka, Mana Void stops the TP. And RTZ finds the kill there. And that's four. Now has a chance to chase a few more people down. Blue's real. Not be that Kuroki as well. Anybody for the Dream Coil will catch them both into the Blood Riot. Epic Mad gonna drop here to S4's Waiting Rift. And Lotus Sun stuff. Arteezy now battling through it all. The Rocket Barrage is not gonna be enough to finish off S4, but Split Up is good. Catches Arteezy. Zai with hook shot across and catches Loader into the cogs. And the Bulldog is pushed back and Zai gets taken out, but the Dagon from S4 finishes off that poor little Gyro. Arteezy re enters the land of the living. Secret basically only lose one. Send your illusions in. Even the illusions are pretty difficult to kill here. Loader tanking them up, losing the Oh, time. whoa, whoa, whoa. Leshrak obliterated by S4, 10, 0, and 2 on this puck right now. And Bulldog, time to make your, uh, make your retreat, buddy. This tier 2 is nowhere near safe. And with that pickoff, they're going to win to... Oh, they're going in. Make that side. Hook shot across to his teammate and gets himself out. But a good weave onto Loader and Bulldog. The Cosmos will keep them at bay as maybe now Secret look to turn. Kuroki's caught with the Viper Strike, but where's the, uh, where's the counter initiation? RTZ is up at top. S4 is ready. Dream Coil off cooldown now. Blink in, waiting Rift. Oh, he's going to go in with the Dream Coil to hold him back. Kuroki graved up and cooldown will land and will finish off that little Blood Seeker. I can see the Poison Attack from Bulldog will do that job. S4, goodbye, Epic Mad. This ceases to exist. S4 jumps in and says goodnight. Arteezy, in the meantime, Radiant up at this top lane, pushing into tier 3. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Secret, they've, all they're really doing at this point is just, they're going in on one lane. Whenever there's rotation, they go in on another lane at the same time. Just really smart. And now, yeah, S4. I'm S4 sorry, things. but S4 is just destroying people so quickly. I'm watching mid lane where Zai is getting pummeled by Bulldog, but S4 just gets an insta kill up at top. Yeah, he's actually... Well, Arteezy is split pushing because he's onto the racks already. Yeah. Now, uh, he turns on the Manta style, turns to fight, and Bulldog drops to half HP. Like that. Is this the man fight you actually want to go into? The Manta Boy drops to 300 HP, and now Arteezy is just going to TP himself away. So, a uh, BKB force there. The rest of the team now can start making their way in. Arteezy didn't even... That could be nice. Yeah. We have seen him drop pretty low and sort of escape while he's going to his teeth a couple of times. Bulldog. Weaved up there as S4 is going in onto RK. Finish him off with the Dream Coil and Arteezy just walks in. Dodges out a couple of spells there with his BKB and Loader. Pops his own call down. Gonna land on to two. And uh, Secret is gonna back themselves up for now. Puppy still has heal, still has Grave, and will throw that out onto Zai as S4 continues to hammer away at these supports. Takes down another. Zai will finally go down in the end, but Arteezy and S4 demolishing Alliance in the middle of their own team. They're going to hold on to this tier 2 for now. The secret running low on mana. Kuroki doesn't give a damn though. 650 Luka speed goes in. He's going to turn him around and fight because he's taken down by the Rocket Barrage. And Shadow Fiend with that last minute Requiem. Now that, that, that's, that's a fight where you're okay as a secret. Mm, that's a little bit surprising that they both decide to go for that. Oh, all band jaunt away. He was looking for the cheeky little pickoff in the Radiant Jungle. Find Epic Mad or someone like that. Jump in, kill, jump out. Bulldog, though, doesn't have the same opportunity to jump himself away. He's got no mobility whatsoever. And these illusions with the rupture forcing him away. The Blood Right will come out, starts him up. A little bit of damage chipped down as well as Bulldog. Is he going to get Dagon now by... Yeah. Oh, man. S4 jumps in with the Dagon. Meanwhile, on the back end of the fight, Kuroki is stunned up, but Arteezy takes down Epic Mad. The Rocket Slayer will finish that kill off. And look at that three hits at him age. Takes down the Leshrac in three fell swipes of his golden shiny blades and Tycan. What's your escape plan? TPing out means you're gonna get bashed. BK, yep, that's the bash. Maybe now TP. Requiem in the fog. Okay, that's the play. Turn out. Try and kill Zai, but he's graved up. Puppy. 
Not gonna get dropped. Zai. If that grave had uh, ended a little bit sooner, maybe he gets killed by Roshan. But that is perfect timing for Secret. Team wipe for them into the Rosh pin. He <laughs> just immortal. Okay. No, no big hit yet for him, which is is kind of surprising. He's gone all out aggression, damage, minus armor. It helps against buildings as well. But we're gonna see the wrap around on the Pycat. Arteezy, where's your first hit bash now? Not gonna be coming out just yet. But Puppy in the back lines. Admiral Bulldog catches him out with some poison attacks, and Puppy stunned up. One more hit, and Bulldog finds him. Gem picked up and recovered as Arteezy BKBs and fights. There's the bash we were looking for. Bulldog evaporates under the damage and Elmode is caught out. He's in the middle of the damage train as they will find the kill on the Zai. Arteezy though battling through it all. It's more still available and every man being taken down. S4 finishes off Loader and Pycat is the last man standing. S4 and Arteezy, the two playmakers that have really opened up this game for Secret. Looking for the kill on the Pycat and they'll, they'll find it eventually. They run off cool down in one second time and there's the kill. Yeah, I mean, Alliance is getting good kills, but just doesn't cut it when they don't get the uh, puck or the anti-mage. They really have to get those, and now it looks like they're gonna go for the top racks with... With no... Do they have buybacks ready? Got five buybacks on Alliance, but... Oh. I mean, like, if, even if they use, like, a couple of buybacks, I don't think it changes much. No, at that point, Alliance, they need items. Buying back here is, you know, gonna stem the flow for 30 seconds or a minute or something like that. So yeah, there we go. They tap themselves out. Our first game of the day is gonna end up with Team Secret winning over Alliance. I think this, this is the game that we all constantly dropped, in my opinion. Like, uh, with the, like, with the anti it's a really smart pickup against the... The typical way of drafting in the metagame nowadays with, like, Lich Rack, Gyrocopter course with not a lot of lockdown and, like, with the puck as well, like you have so many means to